Do you know the primary and secondary categories that you define in Google business listing have a high influence in local search rankings? If not, don't worry because I'm going to explain it to you in detail in today's video and also going to help you discover and add the right categories to your Google business listing. But before that, let me introduce myself. I am Saurabh Mishra and I am the CEO of EOSIS Private Limited. My company is into SEO, website development and mobile apps development. Over the last 12 years, we have helped hundreds of clients in India and abroad in their journey of digital transformation. With the introduction in place, let's get started with our video. So, uh, first we are going to understand uh, where are these primary and secondary categories in your Google business listing and how to add them or edit them. Okay. Then I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the research to corroborate the claim that they have uh, these categories have a higher influence on local search rankings. And third, I'm going to explain you how to discover the right categories for your business and add it to your Google business listing. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first part that is uh, where is this primary category and secondary subcategories defined? Let me uh, go to my screen. <clears throat> okay, so you may be aware of Google My Business. This is a tool you that was created by Google for you to manage your local business information, your own business information. But since 2022, Google is rolling back this product. It's not removing it. It's actually enhancing it. So you don't have to uh, download or go to Google My Business to make the changes. You can directly do it through Google search result as I'll be doing here or through Google Maps. You'll be able to do this result or do these changes only if you are the owner or manager of the relevant business. Okay, so you need to open Google and go to your business. So my company name is Eosis. So I'll search that. Now, since I'm the owner of the business, uh, I'll be getting this uh, tool uh, about okay when I search for the uh, for my business and this tool will give me an option to make relevant changes in my business listing I don't have to go all the way to Google my business anymore well that option is available for few months now but Google will be definitely removing it in 2023 so I highly recommend you to get used to this interface rather than the old one now over here, you get this option of edit profile. You need to click on this. On doing that, you will find a lot of options that Google will uh, give you. You need to click on business information. On clicking that, you will find this business category over here. Now, this is something that we, want, we are talking in detail over here. So, as you can see over here, I have defined software company as my primary category or the main category, whereas marketing agency, web designer and others as subcategories or secondary categories. So you can very well do that. Just click on this pencil icon and you get this option over here, right? Software company, marketing agency, uh, the ones which I have defined. So you can add another category just by clicking that. And when you start typing something, Google gives you the option from its system. So you have to select from the options which are already available there. You can't write something out of thin air. You have to select from the predefined option exactly the way I did. Okay. So in the Google's database, uh, there was an option of software company, which I defined, which is my primary business. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, since we are into SEO and digital marketing, I define marketing agency. Since we do website development, I define web designer. Okay. So these are the categories that uh, you need to define and then you can click save and you will be good to go. Now we have completed the first part that is where are the main and secondary categories located. Now in the second part, like I explained, I'm going to explain you why they play a very important role. Okay. To explain you that I'm going to go to a research done by a very popular company, White Spark. So they spoke to, uh, I think, 50 or uh, some odd participants, uh, experts in the industry, uh, SU experts in the industry to ask them which data field according to them or which option according to them has the highest influence in the local uh, rankings. Okay, we are talking about local rankings only. 
and they made a list of 20 such factors okay now if you look closely over here this is the report this is 2021 it was 2021 end report very well valid now and i'm very sure for next uh three four years also it's going to be valid so if you see over here okay i'm gonna so if you see over here the primary gmb category the one that i spoke to you about this one okay software company 38 participants gave it the highest score you know that it has the maximum influence primary gmb category the main category additional gmb categories came in rank number five okay and it was backed by 23 participants now that's a huge number okay we are talking about really experts over here so this clearly tells you that these data points are very important in your ranking google takes it very seriously when uh, trying to rank you for a query that your user uh, that your targeted audience enter so it's very important for you to enter the right category or you will be missing out on prospects okay now since you understand the second part of the story that why this is important why we are uh, emphasizing so much on defining the right category and subcategory now it's time to discover the right categories relevant to your business and adding to your google my business uh, uh, listing or google business listing now. okay so the third we move to the third step and for this i'm going to give you a simple hack or a simple strategy which i have used successfully and it works beautifully simple so you need to open your chrome web store okay okay so uh, unfortunately the camera gets disconnected so for that you need to open your chrome web extension and or here i'll go on google.com somehow when i'm going there the video is getting disturbed so i'm continuing here you need to type your gmb everywhere okay gmb everywhere now this is the this is the tool this is actually an extension to your chrome okay to your chrome browser so you need to open gmb everywhere and add it to your chrome browser okay so i have already added it hence uh, you're not able to see this option add to chrome but you need to add this particular tool to your chrome okay now now once you do that you need to open google maps okay so i already have google maps okay so i already have google maps open over here now uh, you need to search the primary keyword that you feel is relevant to your business so for today's reference i'm going to take an example of dentist okay so i'm going to come here and enter dentist now since we have uh, when you enter this dentist the google maps shows you the relevant businesses for the search query okay but if you look closely since we have gmb everywhere extension installed it also gives us this additional information okay i'm going to explain this information to you in detail now this particular clinic has defined this ortho dentist as the primary category okay the one which you see in star is the primary category or the main category and the others are subcategories or secondary categories okay and this particular clinic has defined dental clinic as the primary category and these ones as the secondary category okay now if you are a dentist this gives you an option to understand which all the uh, subcategories or categories are defined in google's database remember i told you that you can't select any option over here okay you have to select the ones which are already there in the google's database so in google's database uh, they have defined google has defined dental clinic cosmetic dentist or endodontist uh, oral surgeon orthodontist and so on okay now if you see this particular clinic okay braces and spine orthodontic uh, center now this clinic they are so specific that in their name they have entered orthodontic center they want to clearly emphasize that we are orthodontist or orthodontic clinic okay 
and in the google my business category they have defined orthodontist as their primary category they have not defined dental clinic as their primary category right so you need to uh, you need to understand that if you are specialized in a specific service you need to add that particular service as your primary category why because we have seen in the research that the primary key uh, category has the highest weightage or highest influence in the local uh, rankings okay so this way you know if you scroll down you'll find a lot of these uh, categories and subcategories option available here you can make a note of this okay uh, maybe you may skip dental implants periodontist sorry if i pronounce it wrong uh, but at least to get this idea right look how this particular uh, clinic has defined a, a category emergency dental service right isn't it great whereas this particular clinic hasn't defined it so uh, if someone searches for keyword which are relevant to this particular subcategory google will definitely not show this result on top it will give priority to this particular clinic right so this way you can discover and create this set of uh, categories and subcategories but be mindful to select the one which is very very important and relevant and conveys your business more properly as the main category and the others as subcategories now once you have made a note of this you know just spy you know spy on your competitors using this tool and uh, teeth fighting service look so creative services which uh subcategories which are defined so make a note of them go back to your google business uh profile come here click on this pencil icon and add the relevant category or subcategory so this particular uh the exercise which i explained to you is one of the foundation foundation stone for your local ranking okay it's a very important part do not miss it it's very simple to use gmb everywhere is the extension so i hope this video uh, was valuable to you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos there is an seo playlist also just go through it i have uh, gone step by step about many different uh, processes and steps involved in seo it may come in handy to you as well Okay, so thank you everyone for your valuable time and take care.